Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I say, hey guys, every time. Today's video is going to be on this look. I would like to call this my icy, smoky, glam look. It is just a very pretty winter glam type situation that I feel like I don't do very often. I feel like I stick to my warmer basic tones and I really wanted to kind of step it up today. It is about to start snowing currently outside real time here so it just got me in the mood to do more of a wintry cozy um, look. I don't know if this is cozy. This is more like going out or whatever but either way I really like how it turned out. I am using the new Stila liquid eye shadows. These are bomb. I'm so excited about these. So I will be using that. And um, yeah, I hope you like this look. If you like to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Shall we begin? Okay, so I'd like to go ahead and get right into eyes. Wow, that is just so bright. I guess I haven't looked up yet. Woo! I'm going to be using this little palette um, by Sephora that my friend Ashley actually got me last year for Christmas. And thank goodness she did because I was practicing this look the other day and I realized that I do not have hardly any cool tones at all. This is like one of the only grays that I had in my entire collection. So I will be using this today. Thank you so much, girl. I know you're looking out for this moment for me and I appreciate it. So I'm gonna start out just using this color up here just to set the eyes after we put the primer on. So now that we've primed the lids and set that with some powder, we're going to go in with this gray shade right here. I do wish it was matte, but the sparkles still work fine, especially for this look. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to warm up the crease a little bit. I am going to take uh, this color and then I'll go in with this color after that and just kind of warm up the crease a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna go with that gray shade. It's happening now. I'm gonna take that same gray shade and I'm gonna start to um, build that in the outer corner. Now to take it a step further and make it a little bit deeper, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a black metallic looking shade with a little bit of sparkle in it. Of course, <laughs> you have to be careful with dark shades like this. Um, so we're just going to lightly start to go into that outer corner. And as I said, I wish this was more matte. Um, it is a little metallic, which I think will be fine, but I feel like it would probably work better if it was a complete matte shadow, but I still love these colors. I will go ahead and go in with um, just a clean brush, well, basically clean, cleaner than what I was using. And then you can take some of that color and kind of start to fade it out up into the brow. But if you take that same brush with all of that color on it, then um, you're going to really run the risk of getting it too dark up in that brow area. And that's not what we want. That's not what we want. I don't like about metallic shades too is like certain angles this looks really blended and then certain angles it looks really crazy because of the lighting and so I'm wondering like what it actually looks like. Like what is the true situation that we have here, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the star of the show. So we're gonna use the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm obsessed with these right now. They are killing it as far as the liquid eyeshadows. They have come up with so many amazing colors and I've wanted one for so long and I just could not decide which one I wanted. And I finally decided to go with this one the other day. This is called Perlina. And I just feel like this just makes 
eyeshadow so much easier to do, especially if you want to do a more bold look, a more sparkly look. You know, the other day when I was practicing this look, I did um, start out with the concealer first, but I think I'm kind of just going to go on in with the glitter. You can do it either way. So you can carve out like you're doing a cut crease and then put the glitter over it. This already saves a bunch of time for people who are going to be doing this look. So I'm going to see if I can save you a little bit more and we're going to go straight in with this. I may regret it. So if I do, I think this is a good move that I'm making. I think, I hope, or I could put this on a brush. No, we're going in, we're going in. So this is what it is. You just swipe it on. It is the coolest product ever. So I'm going to take it to the side to make it thinner and then that's what I'm going to use to go in that inner corner with. Jackson, honey, not right now. Mommy's, mommy's really trying to focus. Sir, after doing it both ways, I would probably recommend taking some concealer on a brush like this or some eye primer and going in and kind of carving out the area you want to put the glitter on. This is fine too, especially if you were in a rush, you could definitely do this. Um, and I think it'll look even better once I spend some time with the eyeshadow blending it all out. But are these things not beautiful? Like look at this color. This, as I said, is Perlina and it is just such a bomb product to have in your collection. It's fun to use. It's super easy. There's so many beautiful colors that they've come out with. It's just awesome. It's such a good product. I'm going to go back in now um, to the shadow or to the uh, palette that I had before and I'm just going to take this gray color and I'm going to go on the outer part of where the glitter was and just kind of try to put that together and kind of just fade it in a little bit more. So now that the eyeshadow is pretty much done, we're going to take a break from that and we're going to move on to concealer. I'm going to be using the Sephora, the shade is Buttercream. This is the Gel Serum Concealer. This has been a favorite of mine lately with my skin being drier than usual. So um, this is a great concealer. So I would try it. So camera fell asleep, but I just set my under eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour the face. I did mention this a little bit earlier, but can we just take a moment and talk about this palette? The Park Avenue Princess Tarte Contour and Highlight Palette. This is, yeah, it's the Chisel Palette. I'm sorry, Chisel Palette. I like that. I like that even better. This is the palette that my sister-in-law actually got me for Christmas, and I am nothing short of obsessed with this palette. It is my new favorite contour palette. The shades are just so creamy. They go on so smoothly and so easily. Like uh, This is a palette I could use year-round for contouring, highlighting, or just warming up the face, really, in general. So that's what we're doing. Going to bronze the face as well. So I like to mix Princess Cut and Angle. I like to mix these two right now. This is my winter bronze collaboration, and this is the um, Princess Cut is the color that I use to actually contour my face with. I really just like to start out bronzing my face in certain spots and then by the end of it I feel like I'm just like everywhere, like all over. For blush day I'm going to be using the Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. And for highlight today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Palette as usual. And I'm just going to take a little bit, a little, 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 little bit of Forever, for, forever Lit. <laughs> Alright, so my lashes are on and I think I've decided that I'm not going to buy these lashes anymore because I feel like they just don't fit my eyes, if that makes any sense. I have bigger eyes, I feel like, and I just feel like these do not fit my eyes. And so it's like, no matter how many times I try to cut them or try to bend them or whatever, it just feels like they don't start like over here. They start like in the middle and then I have this problem where they like start to pop up right there. So see like right there, it's like it will not stay down. For lips, I kind of already did them before the video just because I feel like I needed a little bit more color um, since I am so pale right now, but I will just touch up on it. So I use the lip pencil. This is the MAC subculture color and then for lipstick I'm going to use the glaze lipstick by MAC 
And I'm just going to kind of focus that in the middle of the lips. And that completes this look. So I hope you guys like this look. I feel like there was a lot of trial and error today, but I'm okay with that. I'm learning along with you all, so no problems there. But I hope you enjoy this look. I just wanted to do, um, of course, a look with one of the new Stila liquid eyeshadows, which, as I mentioned, are amazing. But I also wanted to do a really pretty wintertime kind of icy smoky eye glam type situation so i really like how this came out i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe give me a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see next i always love your recommendations and other than that i will see you on my next video bye